Okay. Hello there. This room, like, quick, just trying to be brief as possible. This is a video showing full body tracking, if you can, with a Windows Mixed Reality headset and controllers. Now, you may notice my hands are not the most accurately tracked. When they go behind me, they want to give up. And if I move them back, they're fine. It's because of the two cameras on a Windows Mixed Reality headset. I am using a kind of old Windows Mixed Reality headset. It's an HP 1440p. It's before the Odyssey. This is older than the Quest 2. It's inside out tracking. But getting down to it, there's some issues when trying to use full body tracking with it. Now, I got full body tracking, the trackers themselves, the pucks and everything, you know, hip, waist, hip, feet, you know, that. And I had an issue where my body, my hip and feet, those were separated from the headset and controllers when I loaded into Steam VR with the base stations. Uh, reason the Windows Mixed Reality headset has you set up your own play space with your own sort of like boundary, like, you know, it it lights up around you and it keeps knowledge of where the floor is and everything. But when you try to go into Steam VR, it Steam VR throws you in a spot and usually it'd work fine if you were just playing a game alone without any extra stuff, but once you turn on base stations, Steam VR doesn't know where to throw you, so it'll throw you on top of one of your base stations. Now, this is an issue because your top and bottom half of your body are separated by six to eight feet, something like that, and it's not a pleasant time if you try to load into a game. Now, what I like to do, you know, what you can do is there's a add-on called Open VR Input Emulator. Now, this allows you to move your Windows Mixed Reality headset and controllers very slowly down to and over, and you can rotate so you can see what you're facing down to where everything else is, and the result is this. Now you're also moving yourself down into the floor. To fix this, I recommend using OVR advanced settings to shift your play space and bring yourself back up because when you load into VR chat, you will be down in the ground. <laughs> so you have to bring yourself back up to fix that all. Uh, now, I can't really show you myself how to set up everything with open vr input emulator but there is a uh, there's a youtube video which i will link that i use to find it took there, i couldn't find anything specifying windows mixed reality and full body tracking there a guy made a video i think he is swiver i swiver i can't pronounce his name and i apologize if i pronounced it wrong but he did a video on how to use a Windows Mixed Reality headset with Vive controllers. Now, his video, you know, it's good for learning how to move all this, and, you know, he showed the right tool to use, but he didn't say anything about Vive tracking. He did mention Vive trackers, but he mentioned using the uh, little dongles that track, like, you know, keep them. He mentioned using that for your Vive controllers instead of having a separate headset to connect. If I don't, I have three dongles. I don't have five to use with controllers. So if you try to load up, if you had five dongles, you can do this. You could load everything up three trackers, two controllers, five dongles to connect everything. You could load that up and use that with a Windows Mixed Reality headset. At some point, you just you just buy a kit. <laughs> it's it's easier. 
you just buy a fucking you just get a kit for all your stuff it, it just makes it simpler i promise you please using a windows mixed reality headset is not the best process i only recommend it if you have already have a uh a windows mixed reality headset or you found it really cheap on ebay I bought mine four or five years ago from Walmart for two hundred dollars, and this is before Quest Two, you know, st you know, standalone, all that. If you're using a Quest Two, I don't know. Maybe you're having issues with the calibration in Steam VR. This could help you as well. Now, I think there is a uh, there's a space calibrator where you take and you put your hand on a controller and you do a figure eight movement. That, I think, is better. I do not know from YouTube videos. That's what I've seen. Now, <laughs> I hope this helped. I, I just wanted to make a quick little thing saying how, where to look. Instead of just having to find a vague how to, like, you know, sort of, oh, this could work. You know, this worked for me. Open open VR input emulator, get that, and then get OVR space, cali or like OVR advanced settings, there it is. Move yourself, move everything together, and you get this. It works. I can move. It is, you know, Windows Mixed Reality does not make it easy. If I would downside, you know, if you go to set down, and I go too far down, likes to set myself back up and it'll lose the play space and you know hip trackers don't really work as well with that so let me get back up step over <laughs> there we go not not trying to trying to die here on camera so that's just a quick little guide to help I really do I really do hope that this did something at least that you in the right direction I'll have a video linked down below that goes into further instruction with open VR open VR and put it me later have a nice day